Crafting a cabriolet out of a hatchback is nothing unusual, but the A3 cabriolet bucks current trends in at least one way, having a soft top rather than a hard top. Is it exceptional in any other way though? The good news is that the agile handling and composed ride of the A3 hatch survive the car's transition into a cabriolet. There's plenty of grip and the steering is accurate, if a little light at speed. The engine range starts with a 1.2 litre petrol unit that's merely adequate. But you also have the option of a couple of decent turbo diesels and a 2 litre TFSI unit that gives hot hatch pace. However, our favourite is the 1.8 turbo, which revs sweetly and gives decent economy. Despite not having a metal roof, the A3 is impressively refined, especially on sport models which have a thicker roof. The only trouble is that over-the-shoulder vision is poor with the roof up. Even when you drop the top, front seat occupants aren't badly buffeted, while the seats are supportive and comfortable. Other than the slightly tight rear shoulder room, there's decent space for four inside, and the boot is a respectable size whether the roof is up or down. Standard equipment across the range is respectable too, but we recommend sport trim, which has climate control and a fully electric hood. There's no such thing as a cheap A3 cabriolet, but resale values are great. Every engine gives good fuel economy and running one shouldn't break the bank. To cap it all, quality is excellent, even if some of the materials lower down aren't as plush as those higher up. And the car feels classy and built to last. Chopping the roof off the A3 doesn't make it a better car, but somehow the cabriolet feels more right. It's stylish, good to drive and practical. It's hard to think of a more desirable drop-top at this price.